Hi everybody, it's Joey and I am here to do a Bath and Body Works haul. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put on Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. This is not part of the haul, I got this uh, in the spring, but um, this is the cream I'm using up right now. Let's put that there, okay. Okay, so I have a lot of fun videos. A lot of fun videos planned for you guys today. I'm going to do this Bath & Body Works summer haul, which I haven't done a Bath & Body Works haul in a long time. I also want to do um, a 13 Reasons Why um, video about the final season, my thoughts on the whole series, and this the fourth season in particular. So I'm going to do that after this. Um, so yeah, so I have a lot of fun videos planned for um, today. Um, lipstick of the day is French Kiss by Kylie. It's a velvet. Very pretty. Yes, baby. And then I got a gloss ice cold um, from Jeffree Star on top of it. Okay, so let's get started with the um, Bath and Body Works haul, you guys. Um, okay, I'm looking at the stuff I got. I didn't get a lot um, because, again, you there's no Bath and Body Works stores open in New York. I don't know which stores opened up around the country. I know start, they started opening up, but there hasn't been one in New York. So I have to order online. So I ordered everything cold. Like I haven't didn't smell anything. I ordered ordered it blind. Um, a couple of soaps I got, you know, obviously are, are duplicates that I've I've had before. But there's a couple of new ones, and I got a candle. So let's get started. Um, by the way, the banana passion fruit and banana the Bahamas passion fruit banana flower it smells so good. Okay. So I got six hand soaps and a candle. So I'll start with the hand soaps and then I'll go to the candle. Fix myself. Okay. All right. Let's start off with um, a couple of ones that we all know and love. Fiji White Sands. So I got the gel one. These are gentle gel. I like the gentle gel. I do. I think I got it in Mango Mai Tai too in the spring. So this is um, Fiji White Sands. So I'm using up a Fiji White Sands in foaming currently. Let me see. Mm, gotta be very careful with these hand soaps because they get messy. It smells so good. Um, the keynotes are White Sands, Vanilla Orchid, and Warm Amber. You really do get the amber. You get the um, you get like a coconutty. Um, sandy, sandalwood, beachy air type of smell mixed in with the that that amberish sandalwood type of beachy smell. I can't even explain it current like entirely, but it's really, really, really good, really good. So I definitely recommend Fiji White Sands. I have a few of these. Um, so the gel is nice. Actually, I'm liking the gel. Next, I always get one of these every summer, Island Papaya. This is this year's packaging. This year's packaging is not blowing me away, but I do like it. Um, yeah, I always have to get one of these every year. So this is Tropical Coconut Fresh Papaya and Sugar Cane. Oh. Girl, it's not gonna open. Okay, there oh. <laughs> Stuck. Yeah. Yeah, smells is just as good as it always smells. Yes. Island Playa. So this is my favorite summer soap next to banana flower and um, this one I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, this one and then also the Cotton Candy Skies is also a really good summer one that, that's new. But this one's a classic that's like my favorite. I don't know, it's just like, oh, it's like a hand soap like pumpkin cupcake for the fall like th th that's how it is it comes out every year and I love this one for the summer it's the perfect summer fruity tropical smell so I definitely recommend this one um I have like five island papayas now maybe six honestly okay um now I'm gonna do this one um Georgia peach so Georgia peach I have a couple of Georgia peaches this is this year's new packaging um, this is Kinosa Sweet Peach Arm Blossom and Honeysuckle Nectar. I used up one of these in the spring, but I needed a new one. I have one other Georgia Peach, but I wanted in other back of it because this one's really good. This is like my favorite peach smell, Bath and Body Works. This one, and then like I think the Peach and Sweet Tea Body Care 
It came out a few years ago. That one is another really good peach one. But this, oh my god, in hand soap form, this is so good. Of course, everyone loves peach bellini too. But this one, oh my god. Georgia peach is just, I don't even know. It's like so delicious. Like it's peachy and juicy. And it's like the most, it's like the peachiest smell that's not, that's like authentic. It doesn't smell artificial. It smells like an authentic, juicy, sweet peach. So, yes. Okay, now there's the two new ones. So, um, let me start with the one. I do like this one, but I'm going to use my favorite for last. I'm going to say my favorite for last. Okay, so the fresh strawberry tart. I think this is new. The strawberry tart. I've never had it. So, it's new to me. I've never had it. This is, um, it's similar, of course, to other strawberry smells, but it's also a little different. So, to me, this is new. So, I'm going to say this is a new one. Freshly picked strawberries, orange zest, and bergamot. Those are the keynotes. Now, let me know down below if... Um, this is new or not, because I've never had it. Yeah. <laughs> Honest to God, this one is the, the best thing I can, the best way, it's not again. The best way I can describe this is literally a strawberry with lime. It's kind of like strawberry kiwi juice box kind of thing. It's a zesty strawberry, so it's a strawberry, but with like lemon fresh lime squeezed on top of the strawberry. I know it's weird. It says orange zest. I'm not getting orange. I'm getting more like a lime type of, but the, yeah, I'm getting more of a lime, a zesty lime kind of margarita undertone with the strawberry. I like it. It is very tart. It's a strawberry, it's a fresh strawberry tart. Um, yeah, so it's a tart strawberry for sure. Um, yeah, I like this one. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do like this one. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I might say that I bought it. Again, I never had this one before, so I never smelled it. So I didn't. I, I wasn't in the store because the stores aren't open. So I had to order this blind. So like, if I was in the store smelling it though, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I might upset that I do have it. Now, this one, bitch, I knew this was gonna be my favorite, so I bought two of them. I never, this is brand new. They never did this one before, so I did not know what this smelled like. I had an idea, but I had to get two, because I knew this was gonna be my favorite, and um, I should have gotten more than two, honestly. I'm kind of kicking myself. I think if the stores open up soon, like soon, I'm gonna go in and get more, but I don't think I'm gonna order any more of these online. But the Cherry Vanilla Float. I got two of them. I wanted to get three. I should have gotten three. I'm kicking myself, I'm not gonna lie. But the packaging is like one of my favorite packaging. It's so cute. It's like these hot sunglasses on the beach. It's so effing cute. Oh my god, so let me give you the keynotes. So the Juicy Cherry Shaved Coconut and Vanilla Cream are the keynotes. Um, oh my god, this one, you guys. I can't even, I can't even tell you how good this is. Oh my god. This smells better than uh, faint. Like Lily Faint. This smells better than cherry soda itself. And I love the scent of cherry soda. But this, okay, this is what I'm getting. This is exactly what I'm getting. When you go to Johnny Rockets, right? Everyone knows what Johnny Rockets is. And you get one of those um, uh, soda floats from Johnny Rocket. So it kind of smells like a cherry soda with vanilla ice cream in it. So it kind of smells like cherry soda, a cherry soda float. So it's basically what it says, honestly. It's literally cherry soda with vanilla ice cream. I don't get coconut, but I do get cherries and vanilla cream, but I do also get the soda underneath, like the Coca-Cola soda smell with the cherries. I get that too. It's not just cherries. It's like a, it's literally cherry soda with the vanilla cream, which I'm getting more ice cream. I'm getting more ice cream than just vanilla with cream. I'm getting more like ice cream. Like it's like a creamy ice cream thick topping with this cherry soda. So I recommend this for sure. I had to, I had to get two. I'm glad I got two, but I should have gotten three. Or four or five or six or 10. That one's like one of my favorites, honestly. I think I even like the Vanilla Empire, honestly. I really, really like this one. I, I honestly, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I like this better than the banana. I don't know if banana flower, but I, I don't know. 
Banana Flower and this is like a tie right now. I don't know. But this one is so good. I'm telling you, order this one online. I, if your store's not open, you're hesitant of ordering soaps online and you haven't smelled the new ones, order this one. I'm not, uh, it's, you know, won't regret it. I promise you. I promise you. Okay, now let me do the one candle I got. So, Warm Up. Warm Up will buy. I got a 4th of July candle. This is brand new. It's not brand new. It's brand new scent, but it's brand new for the 4th of July packaging. Like, they never came out with this like this for the 4th of July. So, this is the packaging. It's the American flag. It's really, really cute. Of course, they come out with this usually for the fall, but I actually like the spin on it that they did for the 4th of July. I kind of think it does go for the 4th of July, kind of. Like, it's cute. So, the stars lid, which is cute. Star Spangled Banner lid. And the keynotes are baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and flaky homemade crust. Yeah, this is just the same thing as the full version, just in the 4th of July, different packaging. I love this one. This is definitely versatile. This could work in the full, but I can also see this working on the 4th of July because apple pie is a 4th of July staple and this literally just smells like apple pie, so. It's only apple pie. Like, it's, it's apple pie. There's really no other scent to, there's no other thing to describe it other than it's literally authentic apple pie. Now, I have not burned Warm up, I have not bought warm up pie yet. I didn't burn the full version. I only got one full version. So this is my backup, I guess. But I haven't burned that one yet. So I don't know how this does on burn when it's burning. So I have to see. I probably will burn this this 4th of July. Um, I was going to burn my one I got last year, which is Firecracker Pop. That was the 4th of July candle that came out for last year. I was going to burn that one this year. But I think I'm going to burn this one this year. Yeah. It's really cute packaging. I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that was my fourth of my fourth of July. My bath and excuse me, honey. My bath and body works summer haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yes. So I'm gonna film my 13 reasons why um, video and what I think about 13 reasons why. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna film that. I love you guys. Um, and let me know if you picked up anything in the stores or you picked up anything online for Bath and Body Works. Um, I really want the stores to open again, open up again. I think when the stores open up again, I'm gonna go be a wild animal because I've been I've been kept away for too long. I've been caged up for too long, and I need me some Bath and Body. In fact, in one of the episodes of Thirteen Reasons Why, they they were in the mall and literally they were right near Bath and Body Works, and I was like, oh my. I could have smelled it through the screen. That that I, I was like, yes, bitch. There are two reasons why I even knew to film right next to Bath and Body Works because they already know Bath and Body Works is the shizness. So, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I wish the malls were open. Like it kind of like teased me a little. I'm like shit. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the malls and everything to open up because I really want to go into Bath and Body Works to smell everything. Like it's gonna be like, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's 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 gonna be it's it's gonna be like two people who have been separated for so long, like two best friends, and then they they they've moved. One best friend moved, and they're finally gonna reconnect. That's how it's gonna feel like. Okay, I love you guys, and bye.